Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Guys, today I want to talk to you guys how about how I think Cold War is going to be one of the best competitive seasons for Call of Duty League ever. And it's also going to be, of course, fantastic for streaming and content creation. While we're doing that, though, I kind of want to play Demolition. I don't know how long it's going to take, though. So we're just going to do uh, our standard hard point and let's find a new game real quick. All right, so I just want to hop right into it. Uh, so I'm watching the trailer, or the, yeah, the Cold War multiplayer reveal. I'm actually, like, watching it now still. It's still going on, but I got the information I needed so I could start this gameplay for you guys, start this video. So we're going to start off with the most important thing that I, like, I think is the most important thing is the creative class system is, like, it looks to be absolutely incredible. So it's like, uh, it's a mixture. Wait, is this door already open or is that a glitch? Huh, I don't know. That was weird that that door's already open. I don't- I don't understand. I guess one of them could have threw the nade over- Are they playing? Hello? Oh, they are playing. So first things first, it looks like Dead Silence is a perk, which is what we want, right? I mean, I, th I think I got that from the- from the reveal. And also, I'm pretty sure that was like- I just seen someone on top of the train. The other thing is, the creative class system is like a mix between- It looks like, to me, like kind of a mix between Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare. So, like, you can choose, just like in Black Ops 2, like your- like, if you want, like, extra perks, or if you'd rather bring extra, uh, I think, like, e like, extra lethals or something like that. Like, you can bring extra stuff, or you can bring, like, the extra perk, like, having six perks, or I think extra, yeah. I, I just repeated myself, sorry. <laughs> the other thing is, there's still, wow, I am really bad. The other thing is, there's still gunsmith, though. So, it looks like every gun, as long as I am not incorrect about that, it looks like every gun, you can still, like, fully kit out. And they said something along the lines, like... Oh my goodness gracious, what are these guys doing in here? It says something along the lines of every gun is going to have 54 attachments available. So it's just going to be like Modern Warfare, where every, like, every attachment is going to do, like, probably have its pros and its cons, just like it currently does. Like how right now I'm rocking the Ranger foregrip, because even though it lowers my aim down sight speed, it helps with my recoil. And by the way, this AMAX setup I'm rocking, I really think is kind of nasty. I mean... Let me know if you guys see any recoil at all, honestly. The other thing that is absolutely incredible for competitive specifically, because as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I prefer to play competitively, but this year there was no like competitive, there was no competitive play for us. Like, I mean, the CDL playlist sucks, basically. Like there's no rank, there's no punishment for leaving early, none of that. And this year, it looks like the pros are, yeah, I can see it right now, Ninja. Ninja is a perk, which is I look I just looked over. I'm watching it and it says ninja is a perk. Yes, perfect, dude. But the other thing that I'm excited about is so the pros we we confirmed that three of the pros have already played the game early. Wow, you're such a loser. But we confer, confirmed three of the pros are have already started playing early. And I'm sure there's a lot more that are playing early. And then obviously well, actually by the time you guys watch this video, you're gonna see a lot more people than I am. I'm I'm like recording this as the reveal is going on. So you guys, I mean this is going on at a six. You guys already know about all that, like who all has the game early and all that stuff. But that's awesome because we want I want specifically there to be a league play on release. Like I do not want to wait for a league play. So if the pros have the game early, then they can help them create a league play early i would hope i mean that would be that's what i want anyway and then the other thing that i'm like super excited about like i i verbally out loud like was like yes like when they announced it towards the beginning is control is back control is a gameplay game mode don't try to snipe me you little weenie but control is a game mode that's back if any of you guys ever played competitive or even if you don't play competitive like control i think is a really awesome like public match game because it's like I mean, when it first came out in Black Ops 4, I didn't, like, really see the... I didn't see the love for it, but I do now. And I played it the whole time in Black Ops 4. I love playing Control, and it's back. So we don't have to worry about... And I knew we weren't going to have to play Domination again for competitive, which is awesome. This loser's trying to snipe me again. Can you get off me, dog? Stop trying to snipe me. Thanks. Where are they? Like, these guys are playing insanely slow. I was looking at my mini-map. Wait, I didn't kill him. I thought I killed that guy. But I didn't. Oh, boy. Stuns. Where are you? You tried to camera me. You're not going to camera me, dude. Ha! I'm on a flank right now. Trying to get this VTOL. Trying to get this VTOL and boom, howdy. There it is. I got the VTOL. And they're, they're spawning here, which means I can just drop this silly little VTOL right here. And bang, bang, choo-choo train. That's going to land on all their little heads, which is exactly what I want. But I'm excited to see hardpoint, or yeah, not hardpoint, control. Because now I can, like, I'm almost, I can almost guarantee, unless they've already confirmed it. Once again, you guys have watched the whole trailer by now. Or maybe you haven't. So, 
The the game mode should be hardpoint, search and destroy, and control for competitive, which is awesome. And if the pros have the game early, then we should hopefully. I mean, I really don't see why not. We should be able to get a league play on release. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't get a league play on release. What are you doing? Thank you. You did. Oh, there's more of you. Uh, I didn't want to have my pistol out, but I do. I do, though. What is happening? <laughs> there was so much madness there. My VTOL's getting kills. We're smoking these nerds. Now, as for the guns and all that stuff, I personally, like, looking at a reveal trailer and, like, all the new gameplays that we're going to be watching today... I honestly don't really care like what the guns like look like and all that stuff because I mean if any gun is like you know what I'm saying like it, like the guns are gonna be fixed like it's an alpha so the pros already playing it the streamers are have already played it uh, and then there's gonna be a beta like where they're gonna be able to fine tune all that so the guns in my honest opinion don't matter and especially because we have a gunsmith my my concern wow you got turned on my only concern before this was that since we're playing cold war we'll be playing with older guns and they're gonna have really bad recoil which is annoying but since there's gunsmith i don't really think that like we're gonna have to deal with that i mean it's gonna it's gonna have to be just like modern warfare where you just like you just have your pros and your cons you know like your aim down sight speed might be a little bit lower but your recoil is gonna be like not existent or however you want to build your class which is awesome i absolutely love to see that and then so what have what have we seen like someone's trying to snipe me from behind here uh-oh so what have we seen though? We've seen uh, three maps, right? We've seen, uh, I know the only one I remember is Miami, which they confirmed is a three lane map. And also it's Treyarch. Treyarch always has three lane maps and they always have the game like a super vibrant, which is awesome. Now, one thing I don't know at, at, like, at this moment of making this video, which I'm gonna figure out hopefully here soon, is will there be a prestige system? Now, like once again, like I'm watching this as we're recording here. Because I got I got the information I wanted. The prestige I mean, if there's not a prestige system, I would be upset, but it won't be like a make or break thing. I mean it's a trailer game. We all know it's gonna be good. I'm just super, super pumped controls back. I love that as a game mode. Now, for the streams. With all this being said, like how are we gonna be streaming Call of Duty? In all honesty, I want you guys to know that I would like to stream. Like I would like for this channel to mostly go to like league play streams. However, it's not gonna 100 percent we're not gonna 100 go to league play because first of all not all my friends like competitive and second of all search and destroy public match like just to vibe out and just chill out and have a good time is like what we do like that's what we mostly play so i'm sure that like our classic unless there's like an awesome better game mode, like i know that vip game mode's a thing we don't know how awesome that's gonna be but i'm sure like public match search and destroy is still gonna be like our go-to where we're having a good time but be like you guys better know for a fact that if there's a league play oh my goodness i suck wow and i got knifed before i got straight up humiliated i wanted to let you guys know that search and destroy is what i want to play wow dude that was weird oh you know what else i noticed uh for those of you who didn't actually watch the trailer yet the something i think is pretty cool so they still have the field upgrades in your creative class but the field upgrades are things like i mean it looks like a trophy system was in there it looks like an anti-turret was in there um if you ever played any i don't know what call of duty had it was it ghosts there was one call of duty where like one of the things oh that, that's where he's at one of the things was an anti-turret where basically it just shot like uavs out of the air which is like pretty cool and then the other, i said that i say trophy system and then there's bouncing betty's was one of the field like which i like because now they're taking away dude i thought i stuck him but they're basically taking away bouncing buddies from the campers like the only way to get it is through a field that grade which means you're not going to get one every life i thought that guy was about to turn around and uh what's it called rpg me i'm gonna pick up the sniper on the ground also they did confirm it's score streaks and not kill streaks which is awesome now one thing i will say that i'm not uh, necessarily a fan of is that so the field upgrades i was telling you guys about the bouncing betties and trophy system and all that they said that you get that solely off of time and not at all off a of score and I think that that is the opposite of what it should be. I think it should be you get that solely off a of score, not off a of time. I think that if you want a bouncing Betty or you want your trophy system or anything like that, then you should have to earn it. Like you can't, I mean, the people who do bouncing Betty, sure, they're going to sit in the corner still without their bouncing Bettys, but they're going to get their bouncing Betty eventually, which is kind of lame. And it sounds like everyone's going to get their, like their upgrade at the same time right because it's completely off of time and not score i don't know i don't personally like that obviously they could change it i doubt that they will but that's also not like completely game breaking i'm just excited like the things i'm most excited about wow dude you're lame the things i'm most excited about is 
Control coming back. The creative class system seems pretty awesome. It's score streaks completely, not kill streaks. In this game, Point Man was a perk to bring you score streaks, and that's dumb. Like, we had to waste a perk on it. Like, the perks in this game, we're gonna, like, let's be honest, everyone. They were unbalanced, okay? I mean, there was, like, perk two. If you're not running ghosts in perk two, you're honestly dumb. Because the only other thing you could potentially run in that is overkill. And if you're running overkill, you're just a weenie, honestly. Let's see here, dude. Oh, my goodness. We went 40 and 25 this game. We went off a little bit because we're excited about Cold War. Guys, real quick, if you're still here in the video right now, do not forget to use code EMGG at checkout for G Fuel Scuff, DX Racer, and Meta Threads. I was, the reason why I hesitated at Scuff, I was going to say Scuff Gaming. I decided not to. Weird, I know. But that's what you guys can use code EMGG at checkout for. Finally, if you are watching this video up until this point, guys, we are going to be streaming Among Us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to play with us, everyone is welcome. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. You have to be in the Rudy Discord because you have to have a mic. We talk when we play. So Among Us is meant to be a game where you don't actually talk. You use text chat. We're not doing that. We're playing Among Us with voice chat. That's how we love to play it. Anyone is welcome, so feel free to stop by the stream, hang out. If you want to play, you just have to get in the, the line. And lately, so far, I mean, last night when we played, there wasn't much of a line. The first time we played, there was a big line. So, you know, first come, first serve is how that's going to go. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all later. We're on the road to 500 subscribers, so any help you guys can help me with, you know, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandparents, you know, tell your neighbor, knock on the door, but hey, did you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, thank you guys for stopping by today's video, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.